Hey, welcome back. I love you. We're gonna do moonology real quick, then a work cycle spread. <clears throat> See what you're working through. But I wanna know what the lunar energy is for you all. Oh, Cause that really says a lot about how you're feeling and emotions. So let's get to that first. And then we'll work, let's see what you're working through. I have time stamps for you, and I promise not to waste your time. Let's go. Okay, straight out. We're going to work with the Light Seers Tarot, and Four of Cups is coming out. So, yeah, I'm tapping into emotions here. Again, I'm going to fast forward through the setup because I want to get right to the messages and not waste your time. Time is precious. All right. I'm gonna start with the work cycle spread <clears throat> and then we'll come back to this moonology card. Everything fits like a puzzle and there are major messages here, major ar arcana messages, okay? First, four cups. <clears throat> I feel like you are frustrated, bored. If this is about love, um, or whatever you're asking me about, you are going very inward. You're being introspective, isolated perhaps, and a bit lonely. So I want to tell you there are some things that you need to release. So that energy is crossed by the hangman and the a major kind of card that I'm gonna start talking to you about this is 12 which is three as you see there are repeated numbers of three six nine those are blessed numbers blessed reading for you you could go into numerology and look up three six nine or scientifically universally they are important numbers Furthermore, I feel like with this energy crossing in the beginning that you're holding on to something that's not meant for you. Only you know what that is. You or the person you're dealing with or the situation has a stubborn energy and someone also could be playing the martyr. So, and you don't like it, understandably. <clears throat> We're already starting with cups, which are emotions. And we have pentacles and swords. So let me go on. And comes the world in reverse. 21, three. So just, just think about that a minute. In reverse, the world in this reading and what I interpret is that you have a need for closure. There's been what well, you feel maybe missed opportunities, which there aren't. I want you to say to yourself, I am on the right timeline that is best for me. It may not feel like it and moving through the past and any regrets you have leads to healing and everybody's on a different timeline for healing. So do not feel rushed, have patience and never let anyone make you feel bad about the time you take to heal. All right, I want you to lean in to your inner world, lean in there. Take some time to rest, to meditate, to be you, to be okay being you, and understand in your gut chakra what brings you happiness. What are your dreams? If this is a dream catcher, what you catching? What dreams? Hold on to that. These. This is the recent past I'm talking about. This is what you're working through. This is a work cycle. Spread. 
So <clears throat> we have the hanged man and we have the hermit energy in reverse. Another major card that's telling me in reverse, not only are you really being introspective, but you feel lonely, perhaps. Some of you might feel like a bit of a misfit. And there's a deep sense of isolation in all of these cards. Hermit, nine. Remember, three, six, nine, three, six, nine. You guys, those are all important numbers, as well as the numbers I mentioned in the beginning before I reduce them. So this hermit, oh my gosh, this is, you're going to see how you're going to grow through this with patience and you're going to find out what does make you happy. You're also going to find out that you're okay in your own skin and your spirit is intact and you'll find the path, see? You're just feeling a little <clears throat> upside down about it. So, oh, for some of you, there is a message of this being a great time to study and learn. Okay? And we do have the Page of Swords coming in in reverse, but for some of you, it may be this. See? A lot of new beginnings in studying feeling like an infant almost in this new path. Some of you for, that I've been talking mostly about this reading, this is air energy, by the way, immature air energy. There's been dishonesty, perhaps. It's causing you a lot of anxiety and all talk, no action comes to mind. I don't know if it's about you the person you're dealing with, you know, I don't know. But this is more of that energy that you're working through and with. And you're holding on to something that's not meant for you. But you're going to lean in. And I know why. You know why? Here we go. Nine of Pentacles. Improving the health and wealth of you, the situation, finding that happiness. This is what you desire as we work through this energy. And we're coming to the outcome. It's a little bit like a Celtic spread, but it's called a work cycle spread. Nine again. This is you finding that happy place and enjoying it. But also I want you to listen. If you feel out of balance, imbalance, make amends, whatever that means to you. If you want to fix the situation instead of letting go because it's just out of balance and you know how to fix it, which can be very hard, is about you. Um, you can do that. This is an action, um, action oriented card, okay? Because the energy you put into something always equals what you get out. And always remember to be grateful. So this could be energy into the relationship, into the situation, or into you. And what comes out, whew, a lot of positivity. And that is what you want. The outcome matches it. And it's a six of cups. Adorable. Okay, I got lost to the dogs for a minute. <clears throat> you are nostalgic. You are looking at the past and thinking about your inner child. Some of you are working on that. And that is the outcome is a balanced, stable feeling. 
You see how you've progressed? Very happy energy. From four to six. This is what's going to happen. Okay, so stay positive. Understand you can let go. Let go. Just let go. Don't be too controlling. Let go. You won't fall. All right. I'm going to validate this with what? Traditional playing cards and runes. Here we go. Quick. Oh, dropped it. Touched by my grand, great grandparents, these cards. So precious. All right. Just a couple. Just a couple so we now we can really trust in this and ourselves. Okay, hold on. All right, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is what came out. Seven of hearts is seven of cups. Sevens are looking to the future, which I want to remind you. Where is the one with the dogs? Understanding the past reconciling inner child issues and looking to the future. Looking to the future, building strong foundations. Spades are swords, putting down roots and energy, air energy. I'm speaking to you guys about this. Then we have the queen of pentacles and the ace of pentacles. The stability comes back. We talked about some imbalance. It comes back. We talked about feeling miss, like a misfit, um, feeling lonely, feeling anxiety and not comfortable in your own skin. Not anymore. Queen of Pentacles, amazing, good, strong, clear energy. Followed by the Ace of Pentacles, the beginning. Oh, I'm not happy about my nails, sorry. Strong, new, divine beginnings. Ace of Pentacles. Let me show you what that looks like in Tarot. See how quick it comes up. Try not to waste your time, but I want you to see how divine it is. Where's the Ace? I'll find it in just a second. See? I'm being driven to it. Believe it. Believe it. You don't have to see it yet. Have patience. A lot of good things are coming in for you. That's so cool. All right, runes. One last thing. Okay, guys, I'm just gonna randomly, I just don't like all that sun damage. That's why I'm moving my arm. <laughs> okay. Let's dive into the meaning of this ancestral rune. Thousands of years old, these symbols. We are going to be so glad we did this. Okay, great way to end this. Before I do, I want to leave you with a couple questions that I might, that I want to reinforce because they're in here about balance. How do I restore work-life balance or balance in the uh, relationship, emotional area that we're talking about? Also, we talked about feeling like you missed opportunities, but what are you not seeing about new opportunities? A couple questions I wanted to leave you with. Also, the world, 21 in reverse, we talked about, <clears throat> which is three, which is the Empress. 
the Empress is much more like this queen. Intelligent, the wisdom, contemplating, you know, security, but really manifesting ma magnificence. And you're going to shine. People are going to see it. All right, back to this. This is Kanaz. Rune of the torch, power of knowledge, wisdom. Remember in the beginning, I told you there is a time for some of you to study and learn. This also emphasizes that. It is vision, inspiration, power, and transformation. It's the power of knowledge. It's time for you to shine your inner light. <clears throat> All right. See these repeated messages. Time to shine your inner light to gain the wisdom. Also, I mentioned misinformation, dishonesty. I want you to be careful of that. This is indicated. And finally, I think I said this, but I'm going to repeat it. Pain can lead to healing. It's okay to let go. You're going to be okay. It can be immense amount of pain. I, I understand. Just, it's going to be okay. Come back again. I'll be here. I'm not giving up. I love connecting with you guys. I love the way these messages are so connected as we are. Lastly, I did promise you a little bit more about this. We're moving into a new moon, the new beginnings. You're going to clearly understand how good you feel in your own skin and what new opportunities you can embrace. And I do not think it's good to be controlling right now. Let go, let go, let go. And last, avoid anybody who's too controlling to you. We're in a situation, all right? I love you. Thank you so much. Peace.